Hey guys, welcome to the video. Um, I'm going to show you how to farm legendaries after the patch. So you can't do this in online mode anymore. You can only do it in offline mode. Uh, so you, you're going to have to disconnect from your internet before you start the game. And what this does is it removes all the patches that were applied to your game and it reverts back to the basic game essentially when it came out the first day so okay so let's get started and please do remember that you have to disconnect from your internet before you launch the game okay so that's important none of this is gonna work if you're still connected to the internet don't worry about disconnecting from the internet though um, all your progress is gonna be saved don't worry you're, you're gonna have a chance to upload all your progress that you made offline uh, when you finally connect to the internet again. Nice one. Now there are just Let two mobs that you. we will be farming. One is the Hoarder Tinks, uh, that's on Eden 6 on Jacob's Estate, and the other one is the Chupacabrach, found in Athena. So I'll show you how to get to each of those locations. I'll start with the Hoarder Tinks. Alright, so first off, uh, if you already have this artifact loaded dice, you're gonna need to equip this. Uh, it's gonna increase the the chances for legendaries to drop, basically. Um, but do keep in mind that this is gonna uh, reduce your max health, minus 75%. So, you know, you, you're more in danger of dying, and dying is just gonna slow down your farm, so... So yeah, we have to make our way to the Jacob Estate. You have to spawn over there. Near the vending machines. It's the only place you could teleport to. Alright, so... Yeah, as you can see, we're at the start of the map area. And, um... This is where we have to go. That exact spot. So what what we're gonna do is we're gonna follow this path, stay on the left, and there's some place there we could jump. I'll show you later on. Stick to the left, avoid as many mobs as possible. Nice one. Ding. And right over here. We're going to be able to jump from this ledge, See that? and it's going to be right where we want to be. Yes, into the fray. Right here. All right. So this is where you're going to find uh, the the hoarder tanks that we need. So he's always in this spot. You need to kill him fast because if you don't, uh, all these other mobs they're just going to kill you. They're just going to melt you down super fast. And then after you take all of your loot. Uh, you can just quit to main menu. This is the only way they're going to spawn again. After that, you can just click play and continue. You're going to spawn at the nearest checkpoint where you logged off. So you can easily get back to farming. Well, basically that's it. Uh, you just have to keep repeating this as long as you want to keep farming the legendaries here. Um, it is worth noting though that sometimes there will be a second hoarder tank that will spawn. So if you're lucky, you're going to have two hoarder tanks here to kill and loot. Now for the Chupacabra, uh, that one's going to be on Athenus. You're going to want to teleport to the Athena's drop pod. So basically this is where you want to go. I usually mark it because it's it's a long way to get there. Just so I don't get lost. Oh, 
And here you go, the Chupacabra. So I found that the Chupacabra actually has a lower drop rate for legendaries, but it's much easier to farm because it's a bigger target. And, um, well, there's less mobs that are trying to kill you. So, uh, but for me, the way to go is still hoarder tanks. I get about two, three, even four legendaries per run. So yeah, um, I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Uh, leave a like if you like the video. Subscribe if you want to see more content like this. I'm open to topics if you want to suggest them. If you have any questions, I can discuss them with you in the comments below. And I'll see you next time.